A live look outside at Farmington. So good morning to you all in San Juan County. Uh, looking at partly cloudy skies right now, you're staying dry and you are setting up to be on the hot and dry side over the next several days before we do start to see more of those storm chances increasing by the upcoming weekend. But temperatures actually cooling off to around 59 degrees at this hour. Relative humidity of 32%. And we do have that north wind coming in at about 7 miles per hour. But still that satellite and the radar really showing kind of a state divided. We're looking at clear skies out to the east more cloud cover across central and southwestern portions of the state and we were tracking a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms over the last couple of hours really across Grant County just to the east of Silver City but notice as they pushed up to the north and northwest they are continuing to dissipate not tracking any lightning strikes but we are tracking just some pockets of some of those light to moderate rain showers at best outside right now we're waking up to numbers in the mid 70s here in Albuquerque upper 50s or I should say upper 40s in Durango right now. Also Pagosa Springs at 48, 66 degrees in Santa Fe this morning. So good morning to you with the low 70s in Tucumcari, 76 in Roswell. So a warm start for you with the mid 70s in Las Cruces and Silver City waking up to about 70 degrees. For the rest of our Monday, it's definitely a quiet start to the day. We will see unseasonably hot temperatures this afternoon. In fact, we'll be about seven to eight degrees warmer than average right here in the Duke City. We should be around 90 and four casting 97 here at the Sunport. And with a more of a typical monsoon pattern shaping up with that ridge of high pressure now shifting to our east, we'll see more of those showers and thunderstorms kind of favoring southern sections in southwest New Mexico. And they'll be moving mainly from the north and or I should say from the north, uh, south and west up to the north and east. But even though we don't have flash flood watches in effect for the area today, some of those storms could put down some locally heavy rainfall, especially in and around the Sacramento Mountains, Ruidoso. So again, we could see a couple of those isolated flash flood warnings a little bit later on this afternoon, but also into those evening hours as well. Speaking of Ruidoso, we're looking at a high of 86 today. Roswell, though, you were nice and dry Monday and Tuesday, but it is going to be very hot outside. In fact, by Tuesday and Wednesday, 104, 105, that is pushing towards heat advisory criteria. We're in the mid-90s in Lordsburg with more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms today. Window Rock at 87, Grants coming in at 89, 93 in Farmington. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds this afternoon back in the upper 90s for Wednesday and Thursday with isolated storms moving in for Friday and the weekend. 95 degrees in the Española Valley today with Chama coming in at 83. We'll be about 10 degrees warmer in Santa Fe at 93, but notice that storm chance only at about 10%. By Tuesday, we'll bump that up to 20%, so we may see a few more isolated storms. Las Vegas, we're in the lower 90s today with Mora in the uh, 85 for you. Cedar Crest and Sandia Park just below 90 today with Edgewood coming in at 92. We're back in the upper 90s in Berlin, Los Lunas, and Bosque Farms. Mid 90s in the foothills today with the heights at 97. Placitas also looking at mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Highs in the lower half of the 90s. 98 degrees in Rio Rancho today. 97 in Albuquerque. Notice that 10% chance for a stray shower or storm late this afternoon, but also into those early evening hours. A few more isolated storms will be possible on Tuesday. We're going to stick with those upper 90s all the way through Wednesday and Thursday but we will see an increase in that moisture, which means we are going to see more scattered storms Thursday through the upcoming weekend, and that's going to lower those daytime highs in the lower to middle 90s.